2016 convention well and truly open. Thank you. I like to come to the convention to meet up with people that I've known for many years but don't see very regularly and for people that are fresh faces to me. I had a couple then, I thought, hmm, they'll do. Well, I like coming to the convention because it's a great opportunity to meet up with our mates. I mean, I've had a licence for a very long time. I don't get to meet them very often because there aren't so many rallies these days, but convention is an ideal place and you can relax and just talk at, at, you know, at your leisure. Cheers. Um, a group of people, HF, DXers, Island Hopping, uh, the VHF side six metre group, they're all here. Uh, they do have a good time because you'll meet and it's a more relaxed atmosphere over two or three days. Uh, the reason I sponsor it is that I enjoy this part of the hobby. For me, this is my main part of ham radio and finally when I retire, I'll be involved more in operating on HF. I'm on the RSGB regional team, so I'm here primarily to operate the bookstall and assist where necessary. <laughs> Even though you think you know everything about the hobby, there's always something to learn. So many different aspects of it, so there's always something to learn from the hobby. Thank you. Golf Bravo 6 Romeo Charlie. Uh, the X-Ray. I'm, I'm hoping to, to uh, see some of the people that I've managed to speak to on the radio and just get to know them better. Social side is important. Amateur radio is quite a sociable uh, activity, in fact. People work together, they know each other and they enjoy their hobby together, so that's important. Also, we've got a huge range of lecture streams and kind of learning streams where people can find out new things and actually get some hands-on experience and meet some of the experts too. I think I, I come to the convention because I meet a lot of people that I haven't met personally but know their call signs on the air um, and also because of the very good lecture stream. Uh, well, I found out that it was free for under 21s, uh, which was a really big factor for me to come along today. I'm just haven't been in the hobby that long, but very interested and keen to learn more. I'm doing A level maths, physics, computing, and this the sort of talks going on at the convention are really, really. Uh, helpful to those subjects and my interest in amateur radio. I come to the convention to find out about other technologies within amateur radio. I'm hoping to learn more about amateur satellites. One of my ambitions to build my own transceiver and today I have the opportunity to build one in a day. Firstly, uh, to represent the youth committee on the youth committee stand, and uh, secondly, to get my DXCC cards checked to get the, the DXCC awards, and I came, also came to see some lectures. Well, I tend to go on the expeditions and I go to islands that nobody ever heard of before, and so it gives me a chance to tell my story. And when I come to England, it's a trip of my wife. She lets me go on these crazy trips, and then she gets a trip to England as payback. I know what I do at the moment. Golf Bravo 3, Hotel Queen in the RSGB Convention Special Event Station, QRZ. I come to the convention because I like to know the new things that's going on in the hobby and also because it's interesting to hear all the different talks and the various things that's going on and the laughter. The volunteers, without which it would be impossible, but thank you all for giving me your time. It's very difficult to sum it up, but I would say it's all-encompassing, by which I mean two things really. Everyone that is interested in ham radio in the UK should be here, um, and it covers VHF, HF and all the different parts of the hobby. But also because everybody, in this year for example, we've got the, the YL Club by Laura here. 
Inclusive means everybody, and I think that this convention does that very well.